Hello, yes. But firstly, welcome to 2019. Let's hope 2019 is a better year for British nationalism than 2018 was. Sadly, there are those that should, in fact, do know better or pushing the nonsense. I understand why Max Mewson's pushing it. I understand why Jack Sen's pushing it, because they work for Hope Not Hate Searchlight. But Nick Griffin's jumped on the bandwagon with them as well. This nonsense about retreating to the countryside and building white enclaves. What a load of baloney. You know, I mean, it's fantasy stuff. It's Amish stuff that you see those in America, the, the religious ones, the Amish building an Amish community. That's never, ever, ever happening for us. Do you think the powers that be are just going to let you do that and exclude everyone? It's that stupid. Where's the money coming from, right? Or as Max Mewson said, Western Spring has the money, I'm sure it has. And it'll be a sneaky, a sneaky development. The enemy won't notice that all of a sudden we'll jump out on them and ho, ho, ho. And here we are with all these flourishing white communities in and around Britain. What a load of baloney. Oh, I mean, it's it's insulting to one's intelligence. You know what, Nick Griffin? You, you're, you were, well, you were, you were Cambridge educated. It, this is, it, it's bewildering. It literally is. Why you're pushing this with them, I don't know. Is it to come across as a nationalist prophet, visionary, ego, trying to redeem yourself? Is it a, an excuse for failure? I just don't know. But you need to jump out of the little silly old not hate playpen and get back and rebuild British nationalism. You see, the white enclaves are already there. We don't need to build them. They're already there in Bolton, Oldham, Rochdale. Burnley, Berry, uh, Bradford, Keefley, Rotherham, uh, Halifax, they're all over the country, right? And also, even better, they're a lot bigger than enclaves. The large parts of towns and cities. And also, even better, right? These parts of Britain, these white communities bigger than enclaves, are full of our supporters who previously voted for us and will vote again once we get our act together. So we've already got ready-made white enclaves. We don't need any, especially relocating to the countryside. Oh God, Nick, what's happening to you? Book there, Douglas Murray, brilliant book. He doesn't once mention the Kalegi plan. I wonder why. You see, Nick Griffin, why didn't you mention the Kalegi plan in your 204, 209 and 214 Euro election campaigns? Well, exactly. How has this plan been hidden uh, from our knowledge since 1925, is it? This plan to replace the European peoples with third world immigrants has been undergoing and we haven't noticed it. None of us are aware of it. And this plan's been set in motion since 1925, oh come on. And the plan is like a little bit that wouldn't fit off a page of a book. Is that the plan? Come on, Nick Griffin, you gotta get your act together. You were a political heavyweight at one time that not only people respected, they feared, right? So get out of this silly playpen you're in and get your bleeding act together. Oh, uh, I'm gonna be uh, doing me uh, new leaflet for Kensington and Fairfield this month, hopefully putting one out every month right up to the uh, election in May this year. Okay, thank you.